Gloria Patri e Filio e Spirito e Santo. In Trivo ad altare Dei. Aggiutorio nostro mi nomine Domini. Confitio di onnipotenti, beate Maria, sempre viozzini, beato Micheria, cangiolo, beate Ioane Bautiste, santi e sopposti, rispetto e polo, omnibus, santi e vobis fratres, via peccavi, nibis, scotitazione, vevo e roppere, mea culpa, mea culpa, mea maxima culpa. Ed io prego, beate Maria, sempre viozzini, beate Micheria, beate cangiolo, beate Ioane Bautista, Santo Sopposto, lo spetto me, Paolo, omne santo, se vos fratres, orrare pro me, redominum Deo nostro. Amen. Misteriato veste omnipotens Deus, et dimis spiccatis veste, sperduca ar vos, ar vita meiteranam. Indulgentiam absolutiam e remissione peccatoro nostro, tribua nobis omnipotens e misericos dominus. Deus ti conversus vivificabis nos. Ostende nobis domine misericordiam et tuam. Domine, exaudi razione meam. Domino sopravisco, orremos. Oramos in nome di Maria Santona, tu non puoi venire.
population echt die dominus wie jetzt da waren das denn das ist ab diesem hat hier noch dominus gloria voce zu zu elettizia core di se qui regge si sarà intende qui dei giusti da dove mio gloria patri e figli e spirito e santo si coderà in principio e non che sempre le te sequela secolo con amen Popolo se si on ecce dominus finis a sta banda scente, se da dita pace dominus gloria voce se sue letizie e corre di svesti. Chirie e lei san. Chirie e lei san. Criste e lei san. Chirie e lei san. Chirie e lei san. Dominus Fabius Quam Alemum Excita Domine Coda Nostra Ad preparanda Suni Geni De Tui Vias Ope Eos Adventum Purificati Stivi Medi Vos Evire Mere Amor Qui te convivire e regnare in unità di Spirito Santo di Dios per ogni secola secolo e le sue pistre piatti Paoli Apostoli a Romanos Fratres, que con que escrita su la nostra dottrina scripta sunt, o per pazienza me contrasse in scrittura lo spem abeamus. Deo sali pazienza e lo nacite, pobre si Dio sono sabato e la deluta secondo me son Cristo. Ut unanime sun onero officia et is Deum e Pate in Domini nostri, Iesu Christi. Propte quod suscipit in videnti quod Christus suscipit vos in onorem Dei. Dico a te in Cristo, non mi è un ministro, non fui se c'è come si signore, sprote e verità, te in te, al confine, ma non è promissi, io non è il patrone, generato in sua misericordia, non è la rete, io non si coscripto, sprote e confide, voi ti vincendi, voi domine, nomini tu, tu ho cantato. Et idram digere da tata e tamine genes con plebe eius. Et idram la date omnes genes domino me magnificate eium omnes popoli. Et rosus is ae saed. Il è la risiese qui exuge regge reggendi in eon gente spelabund. Deo sale in spere per il vostro negato e pace in credendo. Or abonnete in spere per tutto il spirito santi. Alleluia, alleluia, lei tanto sono venuti e dite sono amici in Domino Domini e vi mostra, alleluia.
The epistle for today, the second Sunday in Advent, is taken from the letter of the Apostle St. Paul to the Romans. Brethren, what things soever were written, were written for our learning, that through patience and the comfort of the Scriptures we might have hope. Now the God of patience and of comfort grant you to be of one mind one towards another, according to Jesus Christ, that with one mind and with one mouth you may glorify God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Wherefore, receive one another, as Christ also hath received you unto the honor of God. For I say that Christ Jesus was minister of the circumcision for the truth of God, to confirm the promises made unto the fathers, but that the Gentiles are to glorify God for his mercy, as it is written, Therefore will I confess to thee, O Lord, among the Gentiles, and will sing to thy name. And again he saith, Rejoice, ye Gentiles, with his people, 
And again, praise the Lord, all ye Gentiles, and magnify him, all ye peoples. And again, Isaiah saith, there shall be a root of Jesse, and he that shall rise up to rule the Gentiles, in him the Gentiles shall hope. Now the God of peace, fill you with all joy and peace in believing, that you may abound in hope and in the power of the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Gospel is taken from the Gospel according to St. Matthew. At that time, when John had heard in prison the works of Christ, sending two of his disciples, he said to him, Art thou he that art to come, or do we look for another? And Jesus, making answer, said to them, Go, and relate to John what you have heard and seen. The blind see, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead rise again, the poor have the gospel preached to them. And blessed is he that shall not be scandalized in me. When they went their way, Jesus began to say to the multitudes concerning John, What went you out into the desert to see? A reed shaken with the wind? But what went you out to see? A man clothed in soft garments? Behold, they that are clothed in soft garments are in the houses of kings. But what went you out to see? A prophet. Yea, I tell you, and more than a prophet. For this is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send my angel before thy face, who shall prepare thy way before thee. Here's a couple of announcements. First of all, today was the last day of catechism for the year. Attendance was not great. We'll start a new year of catechism. Then on the second, the third Sunday of January the 15th, hopefully we'll have more regular attendance for the next year of catechism. Next Sunday, we have our parish auction, which will take place in the St. Joseph House across the road. So we invite you to come. It'll be after the High Mass. There'll be lots of good things available and good fun for that uh, parish activity then next Sunday. This coming Thursday is the Feast of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, a very important feast in the Church. Holy Day of Obligation in the Universal Church, important for our society because it's on this day that our priests and brothers make their vows, their engagements in our society. Masses will be two masses, a high mass in the morning at 8 o'clock, a school mass, and there'll be a mass in the evening for those who have to work who can't come to the morning mass. Reminder for the children, I'm still looking for the treasure sheets for the Eucharistic Crusade. Still missing a few treasure sheets. If you have your treasure sheet, I have the newsletter for December, which I'll be happy to give to you. This coming Saturday is the last meeting of the St. Andrew's Society for the year. So the girls will be having their breakout party next Saturday morning. So the girls who have been in some way related to the SAS, are all invited to come. This coming Friday is the break-up day for our school for this year. We'll have a concert with various plays and activities being performed, as well as the award ceremony and report cards will be handed out in the St. Joseph House, 9 o'clock on Friday morning. The parishioners are welcome to come and, and uh, encourage the children as they do their plays and activities. As a reminder that nobody has signed up for the pilgrim statue of Valerie Fatima for quite a few weeks, and she wants a place to go, to be honoured, especially over Christmas time. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, Amen. And blessed is he who will not be scandalised in me. 
Strange words indeed for God made man to say. Who could be scandalized in Christ? A scandal is an action or a word or a mission which is evil or gives the appearance of evil and leads to sin. It's an occasion of sin. How could Christ give a scandal? So why does he say, blessed is he who will not be scandalized in me? Because the Pharisees were constantly scandalized in him. We find many episodes of this in the Gospel. Take, for example, that time when our divine Saviour was accused by the Pharisees that his disciples didn't do all the ritual washings that the Jews did. And our divine Saviour responds to them and says to them, What defiles the man is not what enters into his mouth, but what comes out of his mouth. That's what defiles the man. And they were scandalized when they heard that. And of course, our Lord points out that if they understood about grace, they would understand what he meant. He said, you are blind leaders of the blind, and if the blind leads the blind man, they will both fall into the pit, meaning eternal damnation. They really could not understand what he was saying. Happened also when he deliberately healed on the Sabbath day. He did it on purpose. And they took scandal in it. Why did he do it? <laughs> he could have avoided upsetting them by not doing it. <laughs> Excuse me. But he did it on purpose. He did it on purpose. And what he did on purpose was this. <laughs> we find one episode in the gospel where there was this woman she had been bent over for 18 years could not stand up at all and she came to ask for a cure on the Sabbath day and our divine Savior turns to them and he says to them do you think it's better to do good or evil on the Sabbath day to heal or to destroy and kill on the Sabbath day which do you think and they kept their, held their peace. They didn't answer. He says, well, I'll tell you the answer. And he cured that woman right now. He says, stand up straight. And she stood erect and she was cured in that moment. And they were scandalized that he did this healing on the Sabbath day. And they said, six days you have to work on the Sabbath day. You take your rest. And he says, this daughter of Abraham was bound for 18 years and you won't even release her on the Sabbath day? What kind of hypocrites are you? There was another occasion, St. Mark tells us about it, where he deliberately brought this woman, where he's speaking to the, uh, to, to, the, to the Pharisees. She had a hand, it was all withered away. And she wanted to be cured. It was the Sabbath day. And so he brings her in the midst and says to them, Should I cure this woman or not? They don't answer. So he cures her on the spot and shows that he has the power. And of course, the reason is the Son of Man is the Lord of the Sabbath. He is God himself. And of course, God is good. And as he rebuked them at other times, is your eye evil because I am good? They were scandalized over the good that he did. They were scandalized over his compassion on the weak. They were scandalized when he ate and drank with the Pharisees and publics who were sinners. And their scandal was their fault. It was because of their hypocrisy, their pride, their envy, their jealousy, their selfishness, that they became scandalized by the good that he did. And that's what we call false scandal, or we give it the name after the Pharisees, Pharisaic scandal. That scandal didn't stop without our divine Savior. And it continues. 
and will continue to the end of time. How many people are scandalized by the teachings of the church? They're scandalized because God is just, and the church teaches that sinners will be condemned to hell. They're scandalized because the church takes care of the poor, because they think the poor are poor by their own fault. They're scandalized because this church has got authority and tells us what to do, how to keep God's laws. They're scandalized because the church defends life from the moment of conception till death. They're scandalized for so many things about our Catholic teachings. They're scandalized because we have the Blessed Sacrament and we say that this is the one true church that Christ has established which has the true sacraments because they refuse to believe. They're scandalized because God is good. And likewise, we can confront that ourselves. The people will be scandalized by ourselves. They'll be annoyed and upset because we practice charity or kindness or patience or we forgive others which they don't want to do. We cannot avoid Pharisaic scandal. In fact, we must despise it. But there's another kind of scandal we can give to others which we have to be very careful about. It's called scandal of the weak. In which a person sees us do something that they think is not quite right. And we have to avoid scandal of the weak. For example, if the collection plate comes around and every Sunday we put nothing in the collection plate, people might be scandalized. They don't know that we contribute to the support of the church in other ways. And so we have to avoid scandal of the weak. Or a person doesn't go to Mass. He might have a good reason. He has to take care of his elderly parents. He can't get to Mass. Fine. It's not a sin. But somebody might not know that. They might be scandalized. Scandal of the weak. We have to avoid that. Tell people why we didn't get to Mass. And so a person might uh, not be willing to help some poor person out in need. Scandal of the weak. He helps others out. He can't help everybody. So we have to be careful to avoid scandal of the weak. But what is most serious is not the scandal that we give to others without our own fault. It's the scandal that we give to others through our own fault. And that is a grievous sin against charity. And that happens so often that we don't even begin to understand how often that takes place. Alas, we're not like Christ our Lord who is always perfect in his actions and his words. We give scandal every time our words or our actions have the appearance of evil. For example, if we get angry, we say an angry word or a bad word or we curse somebody or we, we are unkind towards somebody or we are demeaning towards somebody or we talk about somebody behind his back or we insult somebody to his face. We have refused to understand the meaning. We have given bad example. Scandal happens not just when we want to lead a person into sin. That's the worst kind of scandal. scandal. It's diabolical scandal. If a person shows a, uh, gives a, a bad, immoral link to his friends so he can watch an immoral movie, this is deliberately to lead somebody into sin. It's diabolical. Somebody buys a ticket to a bad movie to somebody or takes him to a bad place where the things, immoral things are, are taking place. This is scandal, diabolical, leading others into sin. But that's not the only kind of scandal. We often commit scandal without actually intending the other persons to commit a sin, but we should have foreseen that what we have said or done would lead others into sin. It's called indirect scandal, but it truly is scandal. And it's a mortal sin against charity. 
to lead others into sin by our own fault. And if they say, oh, this person is upright Catholic, he goes to Mass every Sunday, and yet he gets angry and swears and curses and gets drunk, well then, what's the big deal? I can do it too. And he falls into sin because of your scandal. Or if a person thinks, oh, he can read those kind of books, look at those kind of websites, well, I guess I can too. Scandal also. Or he talks badly about, his, about people, about his parents or others. I guess I could do so as well. Scandal. We don't even begin to imagine how common, how frequent we have given scandal in our past lives. We think of the sins. We've confessed the sins. But have we confessed and thought of the scandal we have done? Instead of giving a good example, we've led others to commit sins. Anger, pride, rebellion, disobedience, disrespect, impurity. The list goes on and on and on of the sins that we have led others into by our bad example. And there's something you have to be aware of about scandal. And it's this. Just as with sins against justice, we steal or cheat, we have to make restitution. It's not enough to be sorry for our sin. We have to make up for the sin. Well, so likewise it is for sins against charity. We have to make reparation for the harm done to other souls. So that if we have lied and taught others to lie, we have to make reparation. But how do you make reparation when you've given others a bad example? By a good life? By being very careful about the truth? By admitting in humility that you've given a bad example and telling them, I'm sorry, I've changed my life. I gave you a bad example of lying and cheating and insulting others or gossiping or talking about their faults or I've given a bad example because I never forgave my enemies and I was bitter towards them for, for months or years and I told you and I complained about them and I talked to you about it and I'm sorry because I gave a truly bad example. Don't do what I did then. We make reparation for the scandal we have created. It's not so easy to make reparation for the scandal we have committed. If it's a scandal we've committed by our words, then to watch very carefully on what we say. to give the good example to others, that they might be able to emulate us. Emulate means to follow the good example of. And ultimately, that's the best way to make up for the scandal we have done. Humility, admitting our fault, and then striving with all our power to give a good example. If children have given up Scandal to their parents by their disobedience, their rebellious spirit, talking back to them, insulting them, talking behind their backs, as so often happens. Then, when they grow a little older, a little more mature, get out of their teenage years, understand their stupidity and their silliness, they must make up for the scandal they have create, caused to their parents. And if parents are given scandal to their children, likewise. All the times that we didn't get to Mass because we're too lazy to wake up. All the times that we didn't say our rosary because we weren't organized. All the times that I, I was excessively angry with my children. All the times that I was too lazy to help them out. And they haven't forgotten. I must make up for the scandal on my lack of responsibility towards my children. How do I make up? First of all, by humility, admitting my faults, and then my striving to do better. And to have that patience and calmness and generosity and love and prayerfulness. We make up for the scandal done, not by words, but by works. By practicing and living our faith. 
And that, of course, is the great message that our divine Saviour teaches us. St. Paul puts it very nicely when he says he preaches by Christ and Christ crucified. Foolishness to the Greeks, scandal to the Jews. The cross was a scandal to the Jews who refused to understand the mystery of the cross. So often I myself have been scandalized by the cross. I've refused to embrace and accept my cross. And then I've caused a scandal to others as a consequence by my anger, my selfishness, my dissolute life, by my sensuality, and so on. Ultimately, the cross is the key. If I'm not scandalized by the cross, but I see there the wisdom and the grace and the redemption and the great power of Christ manifested on the cross, then I will be able to be a good example to others. No longer giving the scandal of my youth, of my past life. And that must be a longing and desire. As we prepare then for Christmas, let's beg that grace that the divine infant coming into our souls might give us the fervor of divine love, that we might be able to make up for the scandal that we have so often given in our youth, that we might be a Catholic to be emulated, to be admired, to be looked up to, not because of ourselves, we're wretched sinners, but because, but by the grace of God which works in us. And then we can be along with St. John the Baptist, those who go to prepare the way of the Lord into the hearts of souls, as we are called, every one of us, to do in our own place, in our own family, there where we live. And may the Blessed Virgin Mary obtain that grace for all of us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Oh, shit.
şeyini söyle istiyorum. Atle yeni gittim. Şimdi adli domine. Ve de şimdi süper nos mizeri koru diye tüm. Dibilatu domine. Sigo un cento in conspetti tu. E mi faccio un mano a me. Sacrificio un pescatino. Quando dono questo io, o le mani. E lo sono giovani stanzi e la vispes. Non è qui ne come me abbiamo la vizia. Alex usando le esercitazioni impedienti. Orate i fratelli, da poter fare un onnipotente. Oh, 
Odin confessing a very sabbat and equated this, and in person is proprietor, and in essence only does, and in my study out of the Torah Quam la 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 Benedictus qui venit in nomine Domini, o Sanda
No visco que pecatori vos Eonia secola secolo Olemos precepti salutari vos moniti Et divini seduzione pomati audemus nicele Pater Noster, qui es in celis, sanctificetur nomen tuum, avenia regnum tuum, fia voluntas tua, sigur in celo et in terra. Pane nostrum quotidianum da nobis ordine, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sigur et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem. Domine non sin dignus. 
Domine non sinimus. Miseriato veste omnipotens Deus et dimissus picatis vestis producat vos ad vitam eternam. Indulgentiam absolutionem in emissione peccatorum vesto hon tibua vobis omnipotens et misericos dominus. Ecce agnus Dei, ecce quit tollit e peccato mundi, Domine non sum dignus sur infra e sur tectum meum, set auto dic verbo et sen abito anima mea, Domine non sum dignus sur infra e sur tectum meum, set auto dic verbo et sen abito anima mea, Domine non sum dignus sur infra e sur tectum meum, Set out of the verb with the nabi to anima mea. Corpus Dominus Jesu Christi. Custodia Dani went on a meeting. Corpus Dominus Jesu Christi. Custodia Dani went on a meeting. Corpus Dominus Jesu Christi. Custodia Dani went on a meeting. Corpus Dominus Jesu Christi. Custodia Dani went on a meeting. Corpus Dominus Jesu Christi. Custodia tani mantua me vita, vita, vita. Corpus tani nostri Gesù Cristi, custodia tani mantua me vita, vita, vita. Corpus tani nostri Gesù Cristi, custodia tani mantua me vita, vita. Corpus tani nostri Gesù Cristi, custodia tani mantua me vita, vita. Corpus tani nostri Gesù Cristi, custodia tani mantua me vita, vita. Opus Domini Nostri Iesu Christi, custodia tani mantua me vita, vita, vita. Opus Domini Nostri Iesu Christi, custodia tani mantua me vita, vita. Opus Domini Nostri Iesu Christi, custodia tani mantua me vita, vita. Opus Domini Nostri Iesu Christi, custodia tani mantua me vita, vita. Opus Domini Nostri Iesu Christi, custodia tani mantua me vita, vita. 
Corpus Domini Nasi Jesu Christi, custodiat anyone to only vitam it. Corpus Domini Nasi Jesu Christi, custodiat anyone to only vitam it. Corpus Domini Nasi Jesu Christi, custodiat anyone to only vitam it. Corpus Domini Nasi Jesu Christi, custodiat anyone to only vitam it. Corpus Domini Nasi Jesu Christi, custodiat anyone to only vitam it. Corpus Domini Nasi Jesu Christi, custodiat anyone to only vitam it. Corpus Domini Nasi Jesu Christi, custodiat anyone to only vitam it. Corpus Domini Nasi Jesu Christi, custodiat anyone to only vitam it. Corpus Domini Nasi Jesu Christi, custodiat anyone to only vitam it. Corpus Domini Nasi Jesu Christi, custodiat anyone to only vitam it. Corpus Domini Nasi Jesu Christi, custodiat anyone to only vitam it. Corpus Domini Nasi Jesu Christi, custodiat anyone to only vitam it. Corpus Domini Nasi Jesu Christi, custodiat anyone to only vitam it. Corpus Domini Nasi Jesu Christi, custodiat anyone to only vitam it. Corpus Domini Nasi Jesu Christi, custodiat anyone to only vitam it. Corpus Domini Nasi Jesu Christi, custodiat anyone to only vitam it. Corpus Domini Nasi Jesu Christi, custodiat anyone to only vitam it. Corpus Domini Nasi Jesu Christi, custodiat anyone to only vitam it. Corpus Domini Nasi Jesu Christi, custodiat anyone to only vitam it. Corpus Domini Nasi Jesu Christi, custodiat anyone to only vitam it. Corpus Domini Nasi Jesu Christi, custodiat anyone to only vitam it. Corpus Domini Nasi Jesu Christi, custodiat anyone to only vitam it. Corpus Domini Nasi Jesu Christi, custodiat anyone to only vitam it. Corpus Domini Nasi Jesu Christi, custodiat anyone to only vitam it. Corpus Domini Nasi Jesu Christi, custodiat anyone to only vitam it. Corpus Domini Nasi Jesu Christi, custodiat anyone to only vitam it. Corpus Domini Nasi Jesu Christi, custodiat anyone to only vitam it. Corpus Domini Nasi Jesu Christi, custodiat anyone to only vitam it. Corpus Domini Nasi Jesu Christi, custodiat anyone to only vitam it. Corpus Domini Nasi Jesu Christi, custodiat anyone to only vitam it. Corpus Domini Nasi Jesu Christi, custodiat anyone to only vitam it. Corpus Domini Nasi Jesu Christi, custodiat anyone to only vitam it. Corpus Domini Nasi Jesu Christi, custodiat anyone to only vitam it. Corpus Domini Nasi Jesu Christi, custodiat anyone to only vitam it. Heaven and Amen.
Jeff Russell and so Jeff Sanis Chelsea. Et video con dittato in cui vendete tipi a Dayotu. No, mi non spavisco. Replete il cibo spirituale, salimoni e stupici e stai domine de precamur. Oh, io ho partecipato ai misteri, dolce notte, reina e spirito del mare celeste. Per il domino nostro, mi è un Cristo, un video, un tuo. Qui te convivere e regnare in unità e spirito su santi te. Per omnia secola secolo Amen Dominus Pabiscum Benedicato vos omnipotens Deus, Pater et Filius et Spiritus Sanctus, Dominus Bobiscum, Inizium Sancti Evangelii, Secondum Ioannem, In principio era il verbo, il verbo era il tappo di Deo, il Deo era il verbo, ma che era in principio il verbo di Deo. Omni per ipso, fatto su nest in ipso, fatto mest nichi, qua fatto mest in ipso, vite era te, vite era lux, omni me lux in tene, bus lucere tene, pre e om non comprehendevo. Quid omo missus a Deo, cui nomen era ci vannes, i venit in testimoni, vo testimoni per libere te lumine, ot omnes crederen per illum. Non era te le lux, ero testimoni per libere te lumine, era lux fera que lumina, ot omne, Momine venite a minuto mundum, il mondo era te mondo spirito, son fatto se te mondo se io non cagno vite, in propria venite sui e io non eceperunt, coccolate in receperù de un dei reis, poi di stare i figli osse dei figli, che sui credo di nomine e sui non è sanguini, vos ne quis volontà di caro, ne quis volontà di vili, se rex te un nati sunt, e vero buon caro facto mest, Et habita vidi nobis et vidimus et gloria meus, gloria en quasi unigeniti a pate, pero gratie et veditatis.
Grâce et ses filles et